What's up, guys? It's your boys, Awoki, back at it with another Chris Watts and Nicole Kessinger video. I have literally, in the couple, past couple days, have had a couple few people write me in my comments and message me personally, letting me know that I need to stay away from Nicole Kessinger. I thought she changed her name. But to all extents of me doing these videos, I'm going to keep talking about this until I'm purple, blue, or dead in the face. I thought, why would you mention this? And, and so forth. It was only a couple people. I don't know if it was one person just making two different accounts, but I just was kind of brought back that I'm just putting my opinion out there like hundreds of other YouTubers are doing as well. But instead, I decided to post more content when it comes to Nicole Kessinger and her involvement because hundreds of you, if not thousands of you, have been writing me even more stuff about Nicole Kessinger and that she was even in the courtroom on the day that Chris Watts was sentenced and gave him looks, uh, gestures, and so forth like that, that she was actually in there pretty much rubbing it in that she got away with it. He didn't. I mean, Dr. Phil has mentioned his partake on Nicole Kessinger. Why would a mistress that was not involved, that didn't want anything to do with Chris, pretty much Google marrying your mistress all before their divorce was even not even started or whatever have you. She didn't know that she was pregnant. She didn't know this. She didn't know that. Dr. Phil even sees her BS. But with that being said, we're going to be watching the Red, what do they call it? The Red Crime Files. Um, a lot of you guys have been mentioning that apparently Chris Watts is speaking out even more. That a plan was completely hatched. Um, a, co a plan was completely in motion. This was not just randomly that he snapped. This was planned. She had a whole bunch to do with this case. And people are still thinking, to this day, that she's innocent. Okay? There is so, so, so much that shows that she was involved in this case. Not just Googling marrying your mistress. She deleted files. She looked up wedding dress. I mean, yeah, okay, looking up that is not a crime. But deleting messages, deleting phone uh pictures and emails and stuff like that that is a felony in itself and can be 10 to 15 years for eluding uh stuff when it comes to murder uh deleting items and stuff like that i've looked it up thousands of times you can't do it but before we go any further when we start looking at a couple of these videos um the chris watts talks about nk uh on this channel make sure you guys go over to their channel give them some love uh, also comment your thoughts down below at any time of this video of Nicole Kessinger's involvement. Um, there is a lot of people, it's, it's almost like a nine, nine to one where 9% or 90% believe that she's involved, but there's that 1% or that 10% that thinks she is innocent, which I am shocked and can't believe. And I'm going to continuously bring this information to you guys until that 1% or that 10% is 100% and everybody believes that she is guilty and should be in prison as well. Now, before we go any further, like I said before, it makes sure you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel. If you guys are watching, it's a simple thing to do. Hit the bell or hit the bar icon that's white that says subscribe. Hit the bell icon next to it so I do post videos like this one or the hundreds and thousands of other videos that I post. You guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you so much for the support. You guys are continuously showing. We're booming by the numbers. We're on a road to 100K, but I can't do it without you guys. So make sure you guys are subscribed and hit the like button so I can know that you guys enjoy these videos. And with that being said, let's get into this. So this was an actual live that she streamed a year ago. And I'm just now noticing or noting that she was actually in the courtroom. I never knew that she was there during sentencing. Um, but let's watch it. Um, I cannot read that. Her efforts. She asked questions about my marriage that no one else did. 
I opened up. I opened up and confided in her. The first of many mistakes. In my heart, I feel like she had something to do with this tragedy. I know that evidence points to Shannon hurting the girls, and then I reti retaliated. But I don't see it. The way Nikki looked at me when I walked out of sentencing, like she smiled like, gotcha. The discovery shows she called Jim constantly before me and after me, yet she says Jim didn't know him. So that's uh, true because we see um, or we hear in the phone interviews of Kobach, yeah, it was Kobach and her, when Kobach says, um, who's that man together with you at the sand dunes, right? And she says, well, it's just a friend. And she always says um, they don't know each other. So they do know each other, right? That's nuts. This is at least what I'm reading out here. You know, she calls him constantly before and after, calls Jim constantly before and after calling Chris. And yet she says Jim didn't know him. The 110 minute conversation on August the 12th that they is don't still remember. a blur. She texted me the entire way out to the oil field site on August the 13th. And this is also what uh, Dave can um, say. It's, it's, it's that, that that is right. I can't even speak anymore because he also told us that he wants to know where are all these text messages. Delete, that right? is 100% correct, everybody. So he wants to know why are they not shown? And she sent him text messages. I mean, that's probably the reason his um, phone records were never been made public. You know, and we still have to learn yet what the bombshell information was. She texted me the entire way out to the oil field site on August the 13th. This may sound crazy, but I think I was hypnotized. How else does Witchcraft? a person go from loving his family to the tragedy of August the 13th? Because you were thinking with the wrong head. I see those events over and over again. My memory has not shifted. It felt like I had no control, like a plan was hatched and I was the person in a bigger scheme. And this is very interesting. Don't you think, Dave? He is saying he feels like he had no control of what is happening, like a plan was hatched and he was the person being part of, of a bigger scheme. That he was the driver. Absolutely, or, as I have said. He makes it sound like he's the car and Nicole's the driver and telling him what to do or how to act and stuff like that. He always mentioned this dark presence that was within him that took over and took his life or took his family's lives. And I call BS one thing, but a lot of people, there are people out there that think that dark mystical ways were in this. There's a median um, or medium that... Uh, is involved in this whole thing when it comes to the paranormal and kind of mystic arts. Um, and they, a lot of you guys want me to watch that, which I, I mean, I definitely can, but I don't think mystical dark arts were at play, but apparently a lot of witchcraft was uh, in Nicole Kessinger's um, mind. She did a lot when it came to that stuff. Um, crystals and and so forth like that. I don't want to do too much because there's are there are apparently good witches and then there are b bad witches. Um, people that are the good witches use the elements of the earth and so forth, or the elements of the the world and stuff like that. But then dark ones use the elements from the devil. But again, I don't know too much of that, and I don't want to step on toes when it comes to that. But whatever Nicole Kessler was doing, she was not doing it to be positive or good. She wanted this uh, life that Shanann had and she was willing to kill for it. And she was willing to make 
Chris do anything by saying, if you don't do this, we can't be together. If you don't do this, you don't love me. If you don't do this, we'll never have anything. And I, I don't think he snapped. This was planned. It was hatched. It was down to the minute details. She, her phone pinged in Frederick, Colorado. I mean, she was seen by neighbors in her truck. She was seen on camera. The camera went missing. I mean, what more? I mean, messages are deleted and people are letting her go. Let's continue. That many, many, many times. <laughs> there are some things that occurred that morning that had never occurred on many, many other mornings. And one was NK not ringing Chris. And the other one, I'm sorry to say it, but why did Sandy ring the school at 8 o'clock in the morning? So there are things happening that I don't believe Chris is actually even aware of. Yeah. I find this, I mean, I find, let's say, 50% interesting of this letter because he maintained those um, statements till today. Correct. Correct. Right? So he never really confessed to anything. When they've been to Wisconsin, um, he said, I just wanted to get over you know, and just told them what they want to hear. Hence, no. he repeated that dream that girl sent him in a in a mail or in a letter. So this is, on one side, I do believe that his memory is lost. And, you know, we were talking about trauma yesterday. And on the other hand, I still feel like um, he just needs to be put under pressure to finally tell the truth. <clears throat> Although I never saw it with my own eyes, it came out later that she was into some dark things. The stones and Crystals. I can't read that, sorry. Not and he also puts not sure how to spell it. She took a stone with her in a on a camping trip. And this is how she represents her grandma. In the discovery, she was looking up things that were going through my mind. Did she put those thoughts there? I go over it all the time and in my mind. It felt like I was hunted like prey. I always said she that. She found someone broken and this de devoured me whole. I don't know if she was in that house that morning then that then i'm sorry guys this is why would you say i don't know if she was in that house why would you say that like you don't know does that mean she was i mean it seems like guilty people just come up with random stuff to add when they don't need to add that it's so hard to read then my mind has been blocked you want me to tell the truth and not to cover for anyone, but the only truth I know is that I feel like I did this. But it doesn't make any sense. Bella's injuries to her lip would have caused a lot of blood. No blood anywhere. Shannon's injury shows no intent and no broken bones. And I had no defense wounds on me. Yeah, that's crazy. If you look at an interview like this interview, that's right here. There's marks on his neck that we definitely see later on. So that's I call BS on that. She was a fighter and I wouldn't be able to hold her down. If there was anyone else in my house that morning, it's just blur. So people are talking about hypnosis and stuff like that. I mean, I've never been a big belief in hypnosis, but I mean, there are, I mean, I'm a little bit skeptic when it comes to hypnosis and stuff like that, but to where you're like, you put them in a, a trance and then like somebody says, take out the president. Oh yeah. Take out the president. That's, I don't feel like that's what they're talking about, but I feel like if you're doing it and you're trying to make somebody fall asleep and then you talk to them really soft and in a nice mood and just and the person falls asleep, maybe that might help somebody to like have problems of sleep. But he's talking about like hypnosis, like I said before, about uh, he's under a trance. And then he, Nicole is like, go take out your family 
or you can't be with us and that's it and then he goes and does it and then he snaps out of it and he's just like what happened my, my family is dead yeah i don't call that i don't mm, i don't know um where does it go um i wouldn't be able to hold her down no chance when i woke up that morning i felt like i was in in a trance put clothes on that were old and didn't fit and didn't mind they look throwing baggy away. so this tells us something you guys he woke up in the morning or what i believe he never even slept because i think he just got home at 4 23. um he purposely put on old clothes stuff he did not mind to throw away so is he right and was there a plan did they tell him or did they you know conspire to say oh wear old clothes is that the reason why he was looking so nervous when Baumhofer found that blue bag yeah which is all Were that there things in that blue bag other so the the stuff that's in the blue bag was Nicole Kessinger stuff which was there the night that Shanann came home because Shanann put her bag uh from her trip right next to the blue bag that's why i believe that Shanann caught them two downstairs in the basement thinking they had more time and then she showed up a little bit early and that's when their plan was foiled Chris took care of it or of Shanann then Nicole took care of the kids. That's where I'm. my belief is and my theory. The people involved were that night or that morning. This is why he was looking so anxious, like, you know, oh my God, please don't pull that stuff up. And none of these clothes were taken into evidence. Put clothes on that were old and didn't fit and didn't mind throwing away made my lunch and went back upstairs, which is not true because no stairs climbed. I felt compelled. I battle with this all the time. So many voices have been in my ear telling me I didn't do this. Oh, yes, you did. So what does he mean with voices? Does he mean other people from the outside or does he mean actual voices? And that Shannon did this. If she did, Shannon then I have not. no recollection of it. He's CBI other Tommy people. Lee put that scenario in my head and I went with it. I'm not sure what is the complete truth other than I felt like I was under some sort of compulsion. That is why I suspect Nikki and Jim being there and involved. But I can't prove it. Why would you say if that? If I could prove it. Then it would show no intent and my sentence would be drastically reduced. But it doesn't change the fact that I believe my hands did this. But then he also stated that he would take things that Nicole said to him and did for him to the grave. What the frick does that mean? You're, you're willing to sentence yourself for the rest of your life and not give up an accessory to murder? The brokenness I fight every day and God is there to help me. God is there to help me. Not only God, but my family. Funny that they find God after they take somebody out. Um, I know the love that is in my heart to care for those in need. And it brings me to my knees in oh, disbelief. Yes. That Ooh, this part where somebody, could Nicole have befriended both Shania and Chris on Facebook under a different name? Just to keep tabs on them? That could be a possibility. I didn't think about that. Actually, we're providing enough evidence that a real defense attorney would have lapped up, eaten up, have investigated themselves with proper special, you know, with real specialists. And there would have been enough reasonable doubt, in my exactly. opinion, clearly, that Chris didn't act alone. Exactly. Definitely. There's no way you know, he acted so alone. Even without naming people, you wouldn't have to name anyone. You but could you just, know. Based on all the data, 
that we actually have and the evidence of him walking around out at Serbi but not and making all of those phone calls and sending text messages but not climbing stairs okay is proof he had his phone with him the whole time or someone had his phone with him the whole time that didn't climb stairs which is to the yes. batteries the oil tanks and you know also, and there's sorry just keep to, going just to um say something about that phone um somebody sent me a message saying there are rumors um that he did not have his phone on him because of the fumes of the hatches and that's the reason why he did not climb any stairs because he left his phone in the truck well i can debunk that right then and there because even though he had no cl uh, flights climbed he still had movement on his phone so they literally gps tracked his phone and saw every location that he was at that morning and they show that he didn't go up the stairs at all at the 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 oil site it literally shows him going to dig the uh shan's grave it showed him getting into the truck it showed him all in these different walking locations because you don't realize that your phone literally shows you every location that you go to my brother actually showed me and which was really creepy it showed me going to the mall of america it showed me going into this store that store this location that gas station and they did the same thing to chris watts and they saw that he went to the oil site he dug the the grave um his phone was on him but he never actually went over to the batteries and went up the flight of stairs to get up there he never went up there then who the hell did he couldn't have acted alone and people are just like zwoki you just need to get over it there's no way why are we not talking to Chris? Why are we not hooking him up to another lie detector and asking him these questions about Nicole? Why are we not finding Nicole and bringing her in and questioning her? You are, are allowed to question by keeping the respectful of their, their amendments, but having them request, uh, uh, request an attorney, not having their father there, Nicole, she brought her daddy in there. Like, there's so many things that are still completely whack and that she's out there free while Shanann is gone. Bella, Cece, Nico are gone because she wanted to mess with Chris and whatever have you get married. What be it just pisses you off. Oh, it's not possible. It is absolutely not possible to not climb stairs, but have movement on your phone and still be up there putting your children in there, right? So that, um, and they also are equipped with uh, gas monitors and stuff like that. So absolutely not um, because of the fumes. That would be even more reason to believe that the kids went in th those tanks on Tuesday night. Yeah, absolutely. And because you look at, like, at Luke Apple, he's seen, Luke Apple is, uh, those of you who don't, aren't aware, it was Chris Watts' immediate boss. <coughs> and uh, Luke Apple, uh, in the drone footage, you actually see him, everybody, up there with probably a law enforcement um, officer. They go up to the up to the tanks, and you see them uh, clearly on the in the drone footage uh, that Luke's up there. Now, I would be certain 1,000% Luke Apple had his phone in his pocket. Yes, they are, um, They describe in the discovery, and um, I don't know who went up with him. I think it was Baumhofer, but I, I'm not sure. It's too long ago since I read that. Um, and the, the detective or agent actually asks Luke Apple, um, what are we going to do because of the flashes of the phone? And Luke Apple states, well, field operator back in, I think 2019 it was. And, you know, you open those hatches, it's highly flammable. That's true. Mm -hmm. But then that's it. 
right? The fumes come up and they Disperse. they just go away. So what Look Apple actually states is um, it's safe and fine. He has his uh, gas monitor um, as so long as you are not taking any pictures with flash. So this is another one. Uh, so the the geo tab did register the weight of the person in the driver's seat. He stated that he put Shanann in the back underneath his girls while they were sitting in the back seat. So somebody else was sitting in the seat um, in Chris's truck. We know well, that. Well, according, according to his geo tab, he wasn't. He was but not we don't know the if he. We don't know if he was walking over there. Very true. His car. Okay, his work truck again was at one hundred and three County Road North, mile marker twenty five, which is the location of a massive tool shed used by Anadarko employees. The yeah. same tool shed, what they call the Bat Cave, that Melissa Parrish and also Chad McNeil went to after they left the office. So after Troy left they think that a lot, a lot of his friends that helped apparently but i don't know I am, that roughly one. and it took him an hour and seven minutes to actually make it to the survey site after leaving the back cave they arrived at the back cave after troy so there is a part two to this um i took snippets out of this of what because they do talk about more about the, the, the friends the troy more about Jim. I don't really honestly think Jim was involved or Troy, which is another person, but it, it even shows more and more and more and more and more. And people keep saying, Oh, this is dead news. This is dead stuff. It's not dead. It's literally pointing out like, you know, those little pictures that you see on a board where all the, the yarn is pointing towards the, the direction, every little evidence that we were finding all over the place is going up until Chris and Nicole, all these things are coming off to them. And we literally can't sit there and be like, Oh, we have Chris. We're, we're done. We're, we don't need to open up this case. So you're telling me if five people show up to a murder, one person commits the murder. And then all the other guys delete the footage when they recorded it. And we're there as an accessory. They watched it happen. You're not going to charge all of those guys with an accessory to murder when they recorded it and then deleted it. I guarantee they would be all arrested and all tried because I've seen cases like that. There's one guy that killed a child or it was like a, a 13, 14 year old kid just because he didn't like him. But there was two girls there that were his friends. One was an ex-girlfriend and two other boys besides the guy that actually killed him because the guy that was actually that killed him was actually like 20 years older than him. He was like a deadbeat like uh high school washout whatever all of those kids that were there took pictures and then they thought about deleting it and they did delete it but they were all there they didn't pull the trigger they didn't one helped uh hand off a shovel because they ended up burying him then they later it came out and then they dug him up then they burned his body they didn't touch anything they just deleted messages, they deleted photos, they deleted all that stuff. And all of them got life in prison. A couple of them got 45 years um, with good behavior and they get released. But you're telling me Nicole gets nothing? And she deleted photos, she was there in Fredericks, Colorado. She was seen from multiple neighbors, mostly Betty. I mean, what more can you sit there and tell me that Nicole was not involved? Nicole should be left alone. This is hogwash, okay? I'm telling you, the more and more little bits and pieces that I find or other people find and bring to my attention or have other channels that I've watched that have gotten it or have seen, shown off, it points in every direction, every 100% direction that Nicole had some involvement, some shape or form, and it needs to be brought to justice. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm going to continue mentioning this on every single thing. Every single video I post, I will state in every single one. It's my theory, my opinion, 
my disclaimer, because I can't purposely say that she needs, well, she needs to be arrested, but I can't like law abiding or not law abiding, but by law, I can't literally by legal and so forth like that, that she needs to be arrested. But again, you guys know what I'm, I'm mentioning. She was involved. For those that are coming here new, make sure you guys are subscribed. Please comment down below your thoughts. Let me know if she thinks she's innocent, uh, if you think she's guilty. Um, literally, for 100 people that write that she's guilty, there's always one or two that say that she's an innocent. And I just still would love to hear more why they think she's innocent. And people stating, well, she didn't have hands on. You don't have to hands on, have hands on to be not guilty. It just doesn't make sense. But for those that are new, subscribe, comment, like the video for more of the content. If you guys like me to do this, the more likes lets me know that I'm doing something right. It lets me know that you guys enjoy my videos and just overall helps out the channel. We'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on and we will see you guys next time.